RenderSet is a powerful Blender add-on that lets you easily create and render different variations of a single scene. It stores camera settings, lighting, and even the position and visibility of objects within the scene, and allows you to quickly switch between these variations for comparison or speeding up the render pipeline. Once installed, you can find the render set panel on the right side of the 3D viewport after hitting the N key. If you mouse over any of the controls, you'll be greeted with helpful tooltips explaining what that control does. You can also open the documentation at any time by clicking this button. Let's go over how it works. Let's say we're working on an ArcVis project for a client, and they've requested some renders with different lighting conditions and camera angles. Normally this might involve creating multiple blend files with different HDRIs or assets in the shot, You'd also have to manually monitor each rendered frame and keep track of their file names and directories. For a big project, this could get out of hand very quickly, and even if you did all of this manual setup, you still couldn't render everything all at once. RenderSet instead lets you save the way your scene is laid out into a context object. These contexts work like snapshots for your scene, and can store all the important properties like the camera settings, scene lighting, and even the visibility of objects or entire collections. There's three main ways to create context objects. You can manually create one by clicking here. You can position the viewport and click context from viewport. And you can select a camera or multiple cameras and click context per selected camera. We can select a context by clicking on it. This will restore the settings that specific context was using. Double click a context to rename it. You can also assign it a new color to keep everything organized. Once we've created our contexts, we need to assign which properties will be stored inside. We can do this by right clicking a property in Blender, like the camera's f-stop, and clicking store property. If I make a new context, it will derive its properties from the current active one. When I change my f-stop, you can see I can easily jump between these two contexts. It's like saving your place in a video game. We can assign a new camera to the context by selecting it under the camera settings. To use different global lighting or HDRIs, head further down to the world settings. If you want to specify the visibility of certain objects or collections, you can open the render set preferences here. Scroll down to the visibility section and select which visibility options you want the context to save and restore. Now, if I hide the prop collection in the second context, it will still be visible in the others. You can find, edit, and remove any stored property from the added properties tab of the render set panel. You can also expand the context settings dropdown for easy access to Blender's render settings. Any modifications here will be saved inside the active context. If you need to edit multiple contexts at the same time, enable multi-edit mode by clicking here, then make your changes and hit apply. RenderSet will show you a list of changes you've made to ensure you don't break anything in your scene. We can also set up post-render actions such as copying the finished render to a different location, playing a notification sound, or even posting on Slack via webhook. Okay, we've set up our contexts and we're happy with how they all look. Normally, to render multiple stills, we would have to individually render from each camera, manually save the image, and name everything to keep it organized. With RenderSet, our folder structure is already set up for each context we create. We can also modify it at any point by clicking these override buttons and setting the file paths manually. RenderSet also works tightly with the compositor's file output node. You can set up individual render passes and RenderSet will save those to its relevant folders as well, giving you more flexibility. Now, just click Render All, which works for both still frames and entire sequences. RenderSet will take over and automate the render process, rendering out each context using its individual settings and controls, saving the rendered frames to the designated file paths, and running any post-render actions you might have set up. The new RenderSet update is just around the corner, and alongside Blender 4.4 and 4.5 support, it includes a variety of powerful new features like custom file output nodes, render previews for each context, multi-layer EXR compositor file output, and more.